video in our Make a Pie Game series. Today we are going to, let me run where we were at last time. Today we're going to add solidness to our walls so that we can't just walk through walls anymore. And we'll add solidness to things above our head so that we can't just jump through <laughs> a floor. So how do we go about doing those? Uh, and so the left and the right is quite straightforward. We're going to use the get tiles property, uh, sorry, get tiles function that we created last time and just use it to check to see what tile is to the left of us uh, and what tile is to the right of us before we move into it. And only if it's not solid will we allow this movement to happen. So I'm down here where I had to do my key press for the A and D for moving left and right. And what I'm going to check is, is the tile. So before I move left, uh, I'm one, so I'm going to move left 10 pixels at a time. So I want to check to see, is that tile to 10 pixels to the left of me solid or not? So I'm going to insert a new line here and let's get that tile, shall we? So the left, uh, the tile to the left of us, we can just call it left tile. Get the tile properties. Oops, tile properties, and we give it the, the TMX data for the, the tiles. All right, and so I'm going to want to use the X value for wherever I am, minus 10. For wherever the player is, minus that 10. And then the Y value, I might do it like the midpoint of the player. So halfway down, uh, at the moment the player is 35 pixels high, so half of 35 is about 17 and then I need to provide that world offset thing again All right, and so this will give me the properties of the tile that I'm potentially moving into and so now I can simply say if uh, the left tile uh, is solid well if it's not solid so if it's not solid it's going to be a zero then I am happy to move 10 pixels to the left into it. Do the same for moving right. So let's create a variable right tile. Get tile properties, TMX data. This time, what do I need to uh, add and subtract for my X and Y values? So uh, given that the X value is the top left corner, I need to add the 25 pixels wide that my player is and then add the 10 pixels that I could move to, uh, that I'm wanting to move to the right. Uh, I'll, again, I'll do halfway down the vertical um, height of my player and I provide that world offset value. Right, and so then again, if the right tile is not solid, so if it's not solid, then that is gonna be set to zero indent both of those so that they only take effect if it's not solid and now that should be all it takes to provide solidness so I can't move through that wall yep cool and let's see if I can not move through other walls over here oh yes I can something has gone wrong there let's check what's going on with my right tile What did I do there? If the right tile is solid. Let's print this out and see what's happening. something strange happening at the moment because <laughs> it keeps moving to the right even after I let go why is it doing that 
don't do it to the left. Okay, so I just had realized I had a little bug happening here, which I fixed up with my Y ground thing, but I hadn't fixed up here with the X. Get rid of this equal sign here. I'm moving myself to the right continually, even if I'm not there. That's what was going on. All right, now that's better. Right, but I do need to just change the the amount because there's that gap. So instead, Right, so now you can see I have I, can't, I have a solid wall to the left of me and I have solid walls to the right that also stop me moving that way. Fantastic. Now, how can I do it? I need to make it so I can't just jump through floors. So let's uh, get that happening here. And that would be here where I am this is where I'm jumping. If my player jump frame is a number that's bigger than zero, then I'm currently jumping. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is check to see what tile is 10 pixels above my head and only allow this to ha happen if that is not solid. Uh, so let's say um, above tile is get tile properties give it the TMX data. Uh, the Y value for halfway th through um, my player, so plus the 12. And then the Y coordinate is currently the top left corner, so it's the top already, that's fine. But I want to check to see um, if I'm going to be moving 10 pixels up, I want to see what's 10 pixels up. Provide the world offset. And now I can just say if the above tile is solid well if it's not solid it's going to be equal to zero in which case I will allow this to happen else so if it is solid we zero out the jump <laughs> we've hit our head we're going to start landing All right, we're going to start falling so um, let's just put in here a comment uh, we hit our head start falling immediately and that should stop us from jumping up into there we go like that so and if i come down here to something nice and low you can see it, it causes me to start falling straight away even though i could jump higher than that um, it's not letting me do it oh, and i can i make it through that gap <laughs> Uh, da -da. We might need to make it later on a little more realistic that you can't kind of move left and right while you're midair. That's not exactly how physics works. Um, I might leave that for you to solve maybe. All right, but anyway, so there we go. 
we <laughs> we have solid walls to the left and right of us and we have um, ceilings above us that we can't just jump through anymore have fun with your game people this is mr baumgarten oh <laughs> signing out <laughs>